What's up, Troublemakers? Welcome back to another Movie Commentary Monday. I forgot the nose ring. I forgot. New Year. Same level of mindfulness. How you guys been? I hope you guys uh, have had a good start to the year. Saltburn, we watched the trailer for this uh, this movie on Ooga Booga. It looked like a good movie and it was a good trailer and in so far is it didn't give away any spoilers. So I don't know what the film's about, but it looked interesting. And I think at the very least, worst case scenario, I could fire off a couple of kissing booth jokes and call it a day. Jacob Elordi, who's in this film. Actually, I saw in a recent interview, he, uh, he had talked about the kissing booth and how it was uh, his favorite movie he's ever done and he will never top it. Three and a half star. Yo, hey. I thought people loved this movie. Didn't it get really good? What was the rating on it again? Yeah, it's a pretty, it's a liked film. Emerald Fennell's candy-coated and incisive salt burn is a debauched jolt to the senses that will be invigorating for the most. Who puts these sentences together? I feel like critics are failed writers who feel angry about it and they're gonna prove to the world that they can actually write well. So let's take a peek. Salt burn, baby. It was impossible not to love Phoenix, but was I? In love with him. Oh boy, out of place. Where's my dorm? Excuse me. Don't save me. I would. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I <laughs> what a creeper. I feel like this is Harry Potter. Anyone else getting that vibe? Or is it just because it's British, maybe a little bit? I'm Michael Gavey. He's gonna murder somebody at some point. I'm a genius. I don't even like maths, really. I can just do it. Ask me a song. It's not like I don't believe. You. Please. No, I believe. You can ask me a song then! Uh, you all right? Um, yeah, I've got a flat tire. Take my bike. Are you sure? I mean, it's a bit of a faff wheeling you back to college. Uh, well, Are you sure? I mean, it's a bit of a faff wheeling you back to A bit of a faff. A bit of a faff? A bit of a faff. Something that takes a lot of effort or causes slight problems. Like the word faff? I have never heard that. That looks like an illegal word. There are too many Fs. There's four letters. Three of them are Fs. That shouldn't be allowed. That looks like a derogatory slur. That looks like a, like a, a racist group. That's what they would call themselves. We're the FAFs. Federation of Anti-Free Folk. A bit of a fa I, you gotta be kidding me. I mean, I can wheel it back to college. It's, it's not that far. He's such a pushover. Oh, I'm Felix. I'll love it. Oh, there he is, Ollie! Wait, take a seat. I owe you a drink. Here, show up, yeah? Sorry, are you with friends? Oh. <laughs> no, no, I'm small college with <laughs> Ouch. But he was screaming. Like a couple days ago. You can ask me a song then! Give me math equations! Would you want to be friends with somebody who is like, Quiz me now! You know it's the lighting. That's one thing I, I pay attention to. It's very warmly lit so far. Like a lot of yellows and a lot of shadows. Look at how heavy the shadows are. But they add the yellow to uh, to give it warm so it doesn't feel like just dark and dingy. It's my round, I can't. I can't go back and ask them for money. Not my problem. Drop this on the floor by your feet. kind! You don't expect somebody with an eyebrow piercing to be that kind. You kind of expect them to just like, Suck the soul from you, you know? <laughs> it's not It's not all people with eyebrow piercings. Just the tall one. If you're tall and have an eyebrow piercing, just know that people are wary of you. If you're short, do whatever you want. You know I'm right, too. I'm not just making this up for jokes. I didn't know you and Farley were cousins. There aren't any pictures of me as a kid. He's got, he's got some weird backstory. He's got no childhood photos? Uh, my parents, I... What? He killed them? <sighs> Don't see them that much. Why? Because he killed them. They've got problems. What? What kind of? They're dead. <laughs> That's the problem. Mental health and addiction and stuff. Oliver, quick. You look Hi. different. He gonna kill you. He gonna kill you. He'll get bored of you. I don't know, he's just a bit awkward. Who would I even sit him next to? Watch him just follow along. Either walk another direction or interrupt the conversation. Don't just follow creepily. Oh God, I hope you get caught, you creep. No one wants to sit next to fucking Oliver. Why not? Oh, don't, don't go to the curtain. Is he waiting? He's not watching. Holy shit. Guys. What is this film? I thought he was just like this uh, poor sad little guy. But now he's a psychopath. Are you the murderer? Someone's dying in this film. Fucking stop, I'm not a fucking child. I can do it myself. It's a good looking film. I'm just hot. Cinematographer? King's Arms later? Yeah, yeah, maybe. Um, I'll text you, yeah. Look at how good this looks. What a shot. <laughs> Homie showed up. So, so this guy is starting to get sick of him and the guy was waiting. That shot I was talking about, he's waiting by the phone. Waiting for him. I should give these people names. Kissing Booth. So Kissing Booth said he was going to text Oliver, and he never did. And Oliver just showed up here anyways. He's really creepy, and he's getting away with it way too much. But I know he's gonna live, because he was doing the ending, uh, the monologue. Oh, he's, he's losing it. Ew. Oh my god. Cut away, please. It's just vomit all over. And then we rack focus into the mirror. I don't want to look at this. What are you doing? Hi, Mom. Ollie, what's happened? Cracked his head on the pavement. Oh, his dad died. So we have a death. Is it true though? He's creeping me out a little too much. 
And it's not fair for me not to believe him, but like, sometimes your biases against people are correct. <laughs> That's the lesson I want people to take away from my video, is when you judge people superficially, you're probably right. So stick with it. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Ollie. That's it's just a shock. She was completely incoherent. They're giving a, a lot of thought to every facial expression. These are good actors that they got in this film. When his eyes flicked. She was completely incoherent. It was like he, he looked for her for his expression or something. Hey guys, I wanted to talk about the camera work for just a second. I think a lot of times actors get a lot of credit because uh, they're the face of a project. And in Saltburn, there are probably like four performances that are worthy of award nominations. But I wanted to take a look at, uh, at Emerald Fennell's uh, candy coating. <laughs> there was one shot in particular. It's this shot right here. So they're about to break for the summer. Some of you might be familiar with the rule, the rule of thirds. Basically, it's just the idea that uh, you don't always want to center frame the subject of your shot. Having your subject be the left third or the right third is, is usually more of an appeal shot but I'm gonna put the lines on the screen for this because we have Oliver who's on the right third of the screen here girls pass to the left and then Oliver shifts from the right side to the left side and then in that vacated spot here comes Farley. Now, I should say I edited out some Farley bits from the commentary. He's a great character. He's Felix's cousin, and he dislikes Oliver from the jump. But like I said, he slides in to where Oliver vacated. But here's what I really love about this shot, is that not only does it use left to right, but it also uses, like, front to back, like depth. Because as we watch Farley disappear off into the depth, in comes Felix to replace him, who fills that right third area, but he's moving off screen and he pulls Oliver through that right third where Oliver began the shot. And meanwhile, this whole shot, the true focus of it is the, the college setting, the beautiful architecture of their school. In most of this shot, they don't even use the top half of the frame. The reason I like this so much is because oftentimes directors kind of go for more um, safe choices, a lot of over the shoulder stuff, because not only is it easy to film, but you can get a lot of different takes. Like with this shot here, if, if one of the extras looks at the camera a little too long or, or screws up the shot, you have to scrap this whole thing and reset and do it all again. Whereas if you're just doing over the shoulder, you could just cut to a different take. This shot is a lot more of a risky choice, but it pays off and it differentiates this film from so many other films. Oh, he gets the invitation here. Come to Saltburn with me. You think you'll go home? No, come to Saltburn with me. <laughs> you know, the first time I felt the inside my mom's throat, I was... I... What did he just say? There's... <laughs> Sometimes I hear lines and I'm like, there's no way I just heard that. Did he just say the first time I felt the inside of my mom's throat? You know, the first time I felt the inside of my mom's throat. The inside of my mom's throat. Where can this sentence go from here? How does it get better? What do you mean you felt the inside of her throat? With what body part of yours? I had to stick my fingers in to make her sick. Oh, okay. Better? So home doesn't mean the same for me as it does for you, Felix. That's the, say that's the second time he's used that line. I'm not like you, Felix. This is all I have. He's guilted him twice now. Is that coincidental? He's gone through a lot. Maybe. His dad might have died. We can't say for sure though. Well, why don't you come home with me? Come to, come to Saltburn. <laughs> feel weird. It won't feel weird. I mean, mom. You felt the inside of your mom's throat. This is gonna feel weird? Guys, I really like this film so far. Oh, right, hey, we're back. Saltburn. Well, that was quick. Why did they add that? They could have just cut to come to Saltburn. You can always leave if you want. And then cut to the car. But instead, they wanted to remind us, like, hey, he's still in the future recounting this. This is an important thing right here. Who's he talking to? Why is he telling this to us? What a shot. This film's fucking gorgeous. Even the music. They're doing a lot of uh, music swells in the right moments. And it feels natural, it makes it flow, it makes it feel cinematic. You're early. Got the earlier train. Oh, he took the train to Saltburn, huh? I figured he'd take a plane. Kind of ruins uh, this next part. Because uh, this video is sponsored by Air Up. I had, a, I had a thing in my head. Air Up is a new hydration experience. Inside of this water bottle is just water. No additives, no sugars. But the flavor? Mango passion fruit, baby. If it's just water, how does it have flavor, Dylan? By utilizing scent with your nose. This pot here makes you believe that there's flavor. But again, that's just, it's just normal water. There's nothing in here besides water. Drinking water is like the number one thing you could do to maintain your health. As a kid, I never drank water because it tastes so boring. I wish I had this as a kid because I would have drank so much more water. And they also have a ton of flavors to choose from. Mango passion fruit is a good one. Apple, I like the, the fruit flavors, but they have like cherry cola. They have so many different kinds of flavors. Julius loves it too. He can't keep his lips off the thing. And the cool part, because it's just water in here, if you don't want any flavor, you just press down on the pod, no flavor, just tastes like water. But if you want flavor again, just pot the pod. 
Yes, flavor, baby. Use my link down below in the description box and get an air up bottle for yourself. It's very simple. If you're gonna suck on something, suck on an air up. That is not their official slogan, nor do I think it should be. Thank you, Arrow, for sponsoring this video. Let's get back to shelf burn. Red staircase. I accidentally fingered my cousin here. I don't have to turn the subtitles on for that part. I heard that correct and I know it, but I wish I didn't. It's Liverpool. I think it's on the sea, isn't it? Is that Carrie Mulligan? Oh, this Amazon. They. Yeah. <laughs> God, I was so sorry to hear about your father. Utterly, utterly tragic. It's not true. I had them hang up an old school dinner jacket. We dressed for dinner here, so I didn't want you to. <laughs> My favorite line delivery of this entire movie is coming right up. Right here. Dress for dinner. Yeah, it's like, it's like black tie. I am so curious about the number of times they shot this exact scene and you chose that take and that delivery. Did he deliver it only one way? And why would he choose to do it that way? I have so many questions. Yeah, it's like black tie. It's like black tie. Yeah. <laughs> Why would he do that? All of his business partners started sort of falling out of windows. Right. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. I kind of hoped it was a ghost. Oh, I want to have a look at the moon. It's nearly full. Do you know what that means? Werewolves. I think I like you even more than last year's one. Ah. Uh. What is that? You're not gonna inquire? What does last year's one mean? No inquiry onto that, huh? Oh, oh, the labyrinth of Saltburn? Lots of people get lost in Saltburn. <laughs> Why does he never inquire? Someone will say something really dark or coded and he's just like, huh, better go about my day now. Dog, ask a question or two, baby. Stop watching people, man. He's such a weirdo. He's watching some solo action. Ah, oh, stop, 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 stop. He can look over. You're gonna get caught. Stop. This is so long. That's what she said. You gotta, you gotta stop. Oh, thank God you cut away. That was, that took so long. He's creeped so many times and has been caught a single time. Is he dead? I'm trying to think of what the twist is. Maybe he's dead. And the only people that can see him are the Saltburnians. I don't think I'll ever go home. Maybe his dad didn't crack his head. Maybe he cracked his head. The fact that he creeped so long and no one notices him ever. Maybe that's a thing. Oh. Homie. I don't know how you take this role as an actor. I don't know how you do something so creepy, even if it's play pretend. Is he gonna get caught? Oh, he took a sip. Oh my god. Oh my god. Tongue to that drain. I want to go to sleep and then not wake up tomorrow. I am so disturbed. That is the that is one of the grossest things I've ever seen. Oh, he's moaning too now. Oh, I'm gonna throw up. I'm gonna throw up. Oh god, I'm actually sick. <sighs> please cut away. Please cut away. Please cut away. I can't look at him the same way. Cause it wasn't just like the bathtub. It was the bathtub after a certain action had taken place. And we all know what that action is. We know what was in that water. What if they had cameras in this house? You know what I mean? What does your life look like after getting caught doing that? I was a lesbian for a while, you know, but it was all just too wet for me in the end. Men are so lovely and dry. Oh. Oh, it can't have been easy for Venetia. Why? Because you're so fucking beautiful. I'm, I'm amenable to this storyline. I can get behind this. I just would've, uh, earlier I would've been like, yeah, yeah. Homie. But now I'm a little bit like, hey, at least he's not sucking water out of a drain of a tub, getting his tongue up, uh, up in the, uh. <sighs> oh, Pamela's not here. I know she's had a hideous time in the past few years, but honestly, she did go on about it. If all of it was true. What an interesting assertion. So he's saying, they're talking about that uh, Carrie Mulligan character, and he's implying that maybe not all of what she says is the truth. What do you mean? Which is what I said about him. Oh, thank goodness for you, Oliver. You're so perceptive. Now, oh, here we go. I do kind of like, it seems that uh, Oliver is growing more bold. I assumed that based on the things he was saying in the trailer, we would get to this point eventually. But he's just been kind of quiet and very passive. But now he's starting to play a little bit of a game. And that's interesting, because what game are you playing, sir? You're presumptuous. And you're in a see-through nightdress underneath my window. Ah, oh, see, he's bold now. I think he's dead. I think he, he's been dead. The bathtub water killed him. <laughs> Fucking poison. I could just see you. 
It's not the right time of the month. That's the only so... thing you think I'm worried about. It's lucky for you, I'm a vampire. Stop. Stop. Um... <sighs> Who's watching? You stupid little boy. I agree. It's not just stupid, he's creepy as hell too. What makes you think I got with Phoenicia? Farley saw you too. I saw her outside and I went down to see was she okay and she tried to kiss me. And I So he's a liar. His dad is not dead. I took a shot in the dark. I judged him and I was correct. I think. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that man? Why? Like there's so much going on in the plot. It's not like even a lot. Like I don't to be honest, I don't even know how I'm gonna edit this. But there's like a lot of different threads going on and then uh, there's just randomly that creepy butler who just looks creepy. But I feel like that's an obvious one. I feel like that's a misdirect. I think the butler... What if the butler is his dad? <laughs> I don't know. There's there's some crazy stuff that's gonna happen. Why would you tell Felix about me and Venetia? Well, I don't think you react that badly. Yes, you did. <laughs> I will say, as disgusting as certain things have been in this film, these conversations just have a percolating energy. Might I even say that my senses have been invigorated? The debauchery has been more than jolting. It has been abhorrent. Criminal borderline, I would argue. But there's a percolating energy to the conversations that are just so interesting. Oh, you're gonna do something creepy again. He's wrapping up his fist. Ah, there we go. Punching the mirror though is kind of lame. I don't know, like a bedpost? I think I'm in the wrong fucking room. Are you going to behave from now on, Farley? No. <laughs> what is this? Oliver is the weirdest dude I have ever seen. Like that nighttime conversation with Ophelia, or whatever the fuck her name was. What was her name? It doesn't matter. You know the girl. The blood girl. He had such a, like a, a, like a conversation where he was like, in charge of her, you know? And now, and again at nighttime, is that is that what like the werewolf thing? <laughs> wow, well, that was a little bit of a joke before. Does he turn into at night, he does he turn into like a werewolf? Or, like he has like a different personality? Where he's like very dominant? And in the daytime he's just like this meek little boy? Say it. I'm going to bed. Okay. I'm out of words. I think it's the silence of the night. That was such a loud and meaty spit. You know that I would- Why would I do this? It's fun. What happened? What's happening? What happened? He tried to nick something. He tried to nick something? What does nick something mean? I don't know your lingo. Oh, he stole something. Mom and Dad would give him anything he asked for. Yeah, well, obviously he got sick of asking. I didn't know you were going to London. Pamela's funeral. Pamela died. She'd do anything for attention. Wait. Is that Karen Mulligan's character? She just died? I'm still not convinced he's not dead. This could all be just in his head. What's this little freak gonna do next? Oh, not the tub again. Not the tub. Okay, okay, we're past it. Oh, we're back in the tub. Fuck. Okay, we're out of it. Get dressed, we're going on a road trip. What have you done? <laughs> yes! No, oh, no, what have you done? <laughs> ready? Are you guys ready for this? No, 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 we're gonna get answers if his dad's dead or not. Oh, we're gonna get some secrets here, yes. Oh, well, this is nice, mate. Look, just clearly cleaned up her act. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, I'm so excited for this moment. This little creep is gonna get exposed. How much? We have two more. Ah, I was thinking he's, it's gonna get exposed and then Oliver would kill him. Is his dad actually dead? Oliver. <gasps> you found this in the garden. His father. You told me you were an only child, Oliver. No, I've always talked about my sisters. <laughs> I think everyone in this room should just gang up and kill Oliver right now. I'd always beetling off by himself. I bet, yeah, yeah, I bet. <laughs> he's the top scholar at Oxford. The top scholar? God, he's so modest. You know, I, I had no idea. We've got to get Oliver. back from my party. Why would you drive him back? You were done with him before you invited him to Saltburn. You kind of invited him out of pity. Now that you know it's, it was all a lie, how are you not just done? Let me just explain. I think the best thing is that you go home after your party. Why would you throw this man a party? And we can still be friends, though. Why would you lie? Why would you throw him a party? Can you not tell your family, please? Of course not. Hell, it's dark enough as it is. Oh! I think he has split personalities. I was doing like a... 
I was doing like a werewolf parallel before, but I think it might be just he, mental health. <laughs> He's not a werewolf, he just has mental problems. Okay. Felix, come on. Look, man, try to be nice. Can you fuck off and bother somebody else? <laughs> I think he's gonna kill Kissing Booth. Shit, I can't remember his name. <laughs> he gonna kill somebody for sure. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. You are gonna kill him. You're not gonna kill him. What was the thing the butler said? A lot of people get lost in Saltburn. This is the Saltburn maze. He's gonna, he's gonna watch, of course. That's what he does. Yeah, and that's exactly what he's doing. Felix, oh, can't you throw me crazy. away? Get the fuck away from me! Ooh, violent conflict. Look, I just gave you what you wanted! I think you need to see somebody. You need help, okay? Seriously. No, I don't. Yeah. I just need you to understand how much I fucking love you. I guess I can. Well, okay. You didn't kill him. That's good. Uh-oh. 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 Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought when he wasn't paying attention, he was going to get... Stabbed, no, but there was a witness that saw him. That girl, that girl saw them. He'd be prime suspect. But I thought maybe he was being interviewed by the police or something. That was that, uh, when he's talking from the, the future at the start of the movie. They can't find Helix? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. You don't need to be told, do you? Is this the Harry Potter maze? Did you pull a Robert Pattinson, Jacob Elordi? <laughs> oh. So we do have a death. It's the end of everything. Is he talking to police? Oh my god. What was the cause of death? Help me move him. We need to get him inside. Get him warm. So he's supposed to have stolen something. And I assume dude was in his room, spitting into his hand. He was there, so he could have planted something. I think Oliver's just like a, a psychopath. Yeah? What the fuck are you still doing here? I wouldn't throw stones if I was you, Fanny. If I was the one racking up lines the night someone died. Is that true? Get out! I won't mention this to the police. That's all you'll get. Nothing more ever again. <laughs> what is happening? This film doesn't necessarily need to solve what happened. Like, it's that kind of film where it's like, it, it could be up in the air. But I, I swear, if they don't, I'm gonna be so upset. Oh, he's sad. But what is, uh... What's he sad about? Is he sad about what he committed? Or is he sad about losing his friend? Is he gonna strangle himself? Is he gonna uh, bury himself with him? Okay, just wants a little skin to grave contact. I was disturbed by the slurping in the bathtub. We were, we were all there, right? Physical illness. This is like a like a spiritual illness I'm feeling now. How disrespectful to hump the ground of dirt that hasn't even grassed over, like on a spiritual level. This is one of the most disgusting things I have ever seen. And no one ever catches him doing weird stuff. Never. You know what daddy started to call you? Spider-Man. Weaving your spidery, olivery web. You disgusting little nobody. You should have seen him at the gravesite! And you licked the fucking plate. And the top two! I, what, what? Can you taste the bottom of that tub? I bet you can. I broke her completely. She couldn't live without him. I was about to say, I wouldn't be surprised that if he drowns her, but he did worse than that. Oh my God. Thank you for coming to see me. Son. <laughs> Remember when I thought he might be the father? Is everything all right? I, I just kind of throw one at the dartboard there. Oh, that's not, I thought he was the butler. <laughs> my bad. I think it's time, Oliver, for you to go home. I don't see how I can. How much for you to leave and never come back to cease all contact with my wife? Bye, son. <laughs> now the joke works. <laughs> what did I watch? What did I just witness? Oh, oh, oh. Okay. So he died naturally then? Oliver. Elspeth. But you're all grown up. You're oh, so yeah, this film took place in 2006 
And that was the obituaries for 2022. So it's been 16 years. I read the news about Sir James. I'm so dreadfully sorry. This isn't a coincidental meeting. Okay, what's the conclusion to this film? What is, what's the end? Come up and stay. Get salt burn. I can honestly say that these last few months have been the happiest of my life. It's just such a shame you got so well. <laughs> what? I promise I'll look after this house just as Felix would have. After all those terrible, terrible accidents. Wait, did he want the house? Unlike you, I actually know how to work. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh my God, we're flashing back. We're going to see everything. Get ready. This is a big moment. All right, we're gonna see everything. The things that we didn't see, there's gonna be some extra stuff in here. So he's gonna plant something to get Farley to leave. He's gonna kill Felix. Oh my God, he planned it from that far back. He let the air out of his tire so that he could borrow the bike. Sent an email to Sotheby's to say that he'd come buy some palacy plates. <laughs> what a psychopath. What is an absolute psycho. I hate all of you. No natural predators. Oh, he drugged. Oh. Oh, okay. Was there anyone who watched this film originally who who was like, oh my god, he killed Felix and he killed the girl? Was there any was there anyone who was surprised by that? <laughs> what, you wanna bang her grave too? <laughs> Jesus. Don't leave him alone! Don't leave him alone here! <laughs> the butler. Good work, son! <laughs> I want just a little bit more. Why? What was his motivation? It's just that he's crazy? I want to understand, like, him. Even if it is crazy, I want to understand what the, the, the root of that crazy, you know? Was not expecting a dance ending. Like, this is how you end a comedy film, where all the actors get together, post credits, and they do a little dance after a wedding. So, that was Saltburn. Um, just to recap, I was physically disgusted, morally disgusted, spiritually disgusted. I think, I think that hits the, the spectrum, the triumvirate of complete revulsion. I would ask like, hey, is there an extra credit scene? <laughs> like it's a Marvel film, but uh, everyone's dead. So I doubt there's a sequel. Let me know what you guys thought. Uh, comment down below how many times you threw up. If it's less than three, I don't believe you. <laughs> what a way to kick the year off. Oh, uh, whoo boy, who baby. Thank you to Air Up for sponsoring this video. I wonder if water is gonna be able to cure this sickness. See you guys next Monday. <laughs> Toodles.